Right now, uh, from now on, basically uh, through the election, we're going to be a very busy. Uh, it's a very busy election in Armenia, New York, as uh, they have people, uh, two candidates running for the uh, supervisor and also uh, running for the uh, town board candidates, uh, just a whole bunch of uh, people. It's great to see uh, that much community involvement uh, in an election. And with us, <coughs> with, with us this morning, we are going to welcome in uh, Stacy Mantel, Stacy Mantel, who is running uh, on the Working Family Party line. Stacy, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. It's an honor, Marshall. You know, it's nice to see so many people running for these positions because uh, uh, it's, there's no pay involved, but it, it's the ultimate sign that you're, that you're involved in your community. Yes, it's true. Um, there are six candidates running in five parties, and it's anyone's game, and this race is a good example of why we really need ranked choice voting. Well, and we, we should explain to the people that aren't aware that are outside of the media. And so the six, the six candidates are running for two open board seats. So okay? that's two seats. So that's what yes. makes that's what makes this so great. Uh, and the fact that you've got six different uh, candidates, and you're going to have probably close to six different uh, views on on how people uh, view the office and view doing the job. And that always makes for a much better, well-informed electorate. Of course, there was. Uh, a debate which was held just a couple of days ago. We'll have the mm-hmm. audio. We'll have the audio for that, and we'll be putting that up on our podcast page, and we'll also be putting it on air on the weekends uh, in the coming weeks. But Stacey, let's get to your candidacy. What what made you decide to run for the town board in Armenia? Well, I chose to live and retire in Armenia because I found it beautiful and calming, and the taxes are low. I qualify for heap, so I really want to keep those taxes low. I got involved. I'm an active member of the Wastewater and Enhancement Committees and the Housing Board. From there, I learned how the town basically works. I'm running because I like to help find solutions, and I'm a people person. I was a paralegal for 25 years and a mental health counselor for a decade. I love to investigate, research, and share what I find. It's rewarding to work on quality of life issues, and we're facing many here in Armenia. You know, it's interesting. Amenia, uh, right now, as you look at it, is going through a kind of a transition. Um, of course, Four Brothers uh, really opened up uh, uh, a destination spot, which I think uh, surprised mm-hmm. everybody how, how 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 important it has become. But now uh, there are lots of other businesses that are opening up in Amenia, uh, re- restaurants and uh, spe- specialty shops and everything. I, this should be a time where Amenia uh, really breaks through. Is is that one of the one of the things you see? Yes, it's wonderful to see that it's um, really starting to blossom and um, for our town to grow more and thrive. We certainly need a business district wastewater system and affordable workforce housing so people can live and work here, grow old and for vets, and we really need those kind of things right now. Okay, so as a candidate, uh, by the way, once again, I want to remind you that we are speaking to Stacy Mantel, who is a candidate for the Amenia Town Board, uh, running on the Working Family Party line. Uh, your top, your 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 top um, objectives. Uh, what are the main top, like let's say, two or three uh, important things that you have on your agenda uh, when you get when you get seated on the town board? Okay, well, um, people tell me they want things to do. Our parks need improving. And we can add features like a dog park and skate park. I see Town Hall having more activities from toddler to senior, offering services and truly being a community center. The green by Town Hall can be lively with fairs, music, lawn sports, and become a gathering place. It's sadly underused. We need the transfer station and the farmer's market back. It's a mystery that we don't have these, and I want to take part in solving it. And people are saying they really want better broadband. Some are not connected. We need choices. We've been working and schooling more from home, and we need the tools to use it, to do it. Yeah, the internet has um, been, yeah the internet has become very 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 important, uh, which we've learned from the pandemic, not only for schools, but for for libraries and and actually businesses as well. Oh yes, um, the internet is crucial to have. Um, it's a different world now. Yeah. Um, people have been, during this camp- pandemic, schooling and, and schooling their children and working from home, and some people are just not connected in Amenia. 
And ab- above that, a lot of people can't afford it. There is a monopoly here, and uh, we, we need to look at alternatives. You know, it's interesting you say that. Uh, as a radio station, we uh, have uh, three different high-speed Internet sites from Comcast. And uh, we spend about, and you're going to sit down when you hear this, almost $1,000 a month for those for those three connections because we need a high-speed connection. So we have begun to investigate at other options. Uh, we're waiting. Uh, uh, we're on a list uh, to get uh, a Starlink, uh, which will bring our uh, – our total, uh, our total internet connection fees down to about for all three stations, to about two hundred and seventy dollars a month. So I mean, I mean, you can do that. We can explore that too as yeah. a town. Uh, see what options are out there and give people better choices. Now, the uh, I mentioned this before uh, when I interviewed uh, uh, another candidate who was running for the town board, Leo Blackman, and basically I interviewed mm-hmm. Leo because Leo, we were talking about the meet the candidates night, but really. Uh, you know, the 800-pound gorilla that's in this election mm-hmm. is Silo Ridge. Silo Ridge is a positive force for Armenia. It's got some uh, – there's there's questions about it. There's You know, that is, a, that is a, mm-hmm. a different part of the election. What is your feeling on that? Well, at the start, people were very excited for Silo Ridge. There was going to be a welcome house through which we could enter and enjoy the golf course, restaurants, retail stores. There was going to be a large hotel that would create many jobs and tourism. And in 2014, a spokesman told us how Armenia would get an estimated tax revenue of $1.1 million a year. This is on YouTube. At some point, the Silo Welcome House was no more, and it became a gated community. So fast forward to now. Many Silo Ridge property owners and associated parties challenge the tax assessments. There are around 65 court cases you can see on the New York State Unified Court System website. Our tax dollars are used to pay an attorney and legal staff hundreds of dollars an hour to defend these cases. And we wonder why won't they just pay their share of, their share of taxes like the rest of us. I don't know where that, if that $1.1 million tax revenue ever materialized. I haven't seen evidence of it. Perhaps by now we'd be building a wastewater system and workforce housing. This is a good reason why we need transparency. And just I'm happy to share my research with anyone, and they can contact me at ameniastacy at gmail.com. Ameniastacy at gmail.com is the, is the web address. Yeah, no E in Stacy. Okay, I was going to say that. We'll have that link posted up, by the way, uh, 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 on our website. Uh, one one final question that you, in the next minute, minute and a half, uh, just give a little uh, 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 election speech uh, uh, to people that are listening out there. Okay, thank you. Everyone has the right to participate and understand how our local government works. It shouldn't be mysterious or frustrating to get insight and information. This is a pivotal election. Six candidates, five parties. It's anyone's game. I want Town Hall to be more welcoming, inclusive, and transparent. Working for you and with you will be my number one priority. I have no family or job demands pulling me in different directions. I'm retired with the energy and time to devote to a place I'll call home the rest of my life. And there's a lot to do. Together, let's make Amenia the best it can be. All right, Stacey, once again, uh, I, I tip my cap to you. I ran, once again, about eight years ago for the Board of Education because I didn't like to see a, 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 an uncontested mm-hmm. uh, uh, position like that. And I, I tell you what, it was a lot more work than I thought. I knocked on over 500 and some odd doors. I ended up losing by 100 mm-hmm. and some votes, but it was still worthwhile. And I give credit to you, especially a retired person, uh, who loves her community so much, and to all the candidates that are running, uh, kudos, because uh, that really shows your commitment to the town. And uh, congratulations for, for having the gumption to run in, and good luck. Thank you so much. It's been an honor speaking with you. All right. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. As I said, we will be speaking with all the candidates. Uh, they will all call in and, and set up times to speak with us uh, about the upcoming election in Armenia.